This video is made to show everyone where the unique outfits are in the forest and where they are located. This will not be covering any of the common outfits or just the outfits that don't have anything going for them. In this video, I'll be going over the location of these outfits on the screen right now. If you for some reason care about outfits that aren't really that interesting in the forest, then there will be a link to the Wikipedia page in the description of the video. That page basically tells you what every outfit is and where it's located. I'll also be providing timestamps if you're here to look for a specific outfit. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for the first one, we have the bathrobe. And keep in mind, I'll be starting from the plains area in the forest because I just find that the easiest spot to start at. So every single time I'm going to be showing you where an outfit is, I'll be starting at the plains so you can follow me easily. So running down from the plains, you're basically just following the shoreline this whole time. Now you may be encountering enemies, in this case I encountered the worm, that's because my save is in a high date count right now. Kill enemies in your own discretion though. If you do decide to kill them, just make sure you are following the shoreline the whole time. When you arrive to the shipping crates, that means that you're in the right area. Just take a right from the yellow shipping crate and just go straight. At some point, you'll reach a cave entrance. Go in it. When in the cave, just go straight. And as soon as you see a rope to your right, go down it. I never once encountered a mutant or a cannibal down here, so you shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Now this area isn't that big, so just go to the back or just keep walking until you find a suitcase that's brown with a yellow pattern on top of it. Once you find it, smash it open. Once you smash it open, you'll be prompt to equip an outfit, and there you go. You got the bathrobe outfit easily. So the second outfit is going to be the pilot outfit. This outfit isn't really difficult to get at all, and there really is no requirement for it. But it is on the north of the map, so traveling from the planes to the pilot outfit will probably be a little bit long. I'll show a map right now where it is. But without further ado, let's go to it right now. So from the planes area, it's basically just a straight shot all the way north. There's probably like a 95% chance that you will encounter a cannibal or a mutant during this travel. In this case, I did, but I just kept running and the cannibals didn't want to mess with me, I guess. So I got pretty lucky. Depending on where you're at, if you make it to the hold, then you're pretty much on the right path. So just keep going. So if you're in the snow area, then you're in the right area. If you're following the same path as me, just keep doing it until you find the cockpit of the plane. If not, it's northeast of the whole snow area. Once you reach the cockpit of the plane, you'll see one of those suitcases that are brown with the yellow pattern on it. Smash it. Once smashed, you'll get another prompt. Hold E, and then you'll have the pilot outfit. You can also find the flare gun here, so if you haven't, make sure to grab that. So on the number three on the list is going to be the stewardess outfit. This one's really easy to get, and all you have to do, smack the lady that you get the axe from three to four times, and then you're able to get the prompt of taking her outfit. So the next outfit is the tennis outfit. This is one of those outfits that aren't that difficult to get, but are time consuming. If your save is in a high day count, I do recommend you get ready to kill a cannibal or a mutant. To get this outfit, it requires you to have the climbing tool. If you don't have it, then get it before getting this outfit. Similar to the pilot's outfit, all we do is just make a straight shot to the hole, and then we go from there. You'll probably encounter cannibals on the way there. Fight them in your discretion. Once you reach the hole, 
You just need to look for a dam that kind of parts the whole ocean. It's really hard to miss. Here it is on the map right now. Once you made it to this little dam, just keep heading straight. You'll soon find a cave entrance. Go in it. So, where I went in this cave can be a little confusing for some people. So I really do apologize about the footage, but I'll try my best to explain where to go. So heading straight in the cave until you find a rope go down it. You may encounter enemies here, in this case I encountered a cannibal and a Virginia. Pause the video and kill them and proceed on. Keep going down ropes until you encounter a rock climbing wall. Once encountered, go over it. Instantly go up the rope that you see, then head into the cave. You can also find a pedometer here, so if you haven't found it, take it right now. Start making your way to the back of the cave. You may encounter enemies. In this case, I encountered two cannibals and one armsy. You can either kill them or run away. Head to the back of the cave and you'll find yet another brown suitcase with the yellow pattern on it. Open it and you'll be prompt with the tennis outfit. Now next is the black suit. This is located in the hole by the crash helicopter. To get all the way down to the hole safely, you're going to have to enter cave 7, the same cave to get the tennis outfit. If you need help in finding it and you haven't watched the tennis outfit part of the video, watch it now, as I'll be using the hang glider to get in the cave for easy and quick access for me. So from the plane's area, all you do is just go straight and you will start making it to the hole. Once again, if you have not seen how to get the tennis outfit in this video yet, I do recommend you go to this timestamp right now to find out what Cave 7 is if you're having troubles finding it. When in the hole, you will most definitely encounter one of the three mutants in the game. If you have to, kill them. You should easily find the helicopter. Next to it is a brown suitcase with the yellow pattern on it once again. Smash it. You can also find a machete. If you haven't, next to the helicopter's window, pick it up. It's a really useful weapon. The next and the last outfit is called the old suit. This does require the rebreather, so if you don't have it, consider watching a YouTube tutorial on how to get it. So going from the plains, take a right. Basically follow the shoreline until you see an island. I recommend you turn your water graphics to flat. This will make it easier to see in the water, and when you're out of the water, make it easier to see through the water. This will be very helpful when we find the cave. Keep going until you find a little slope that can lead you down. Go down it. And then take a left until you reach the end of it. To the right you should see an island. Swim to the island. Once at the island, look for the cave. If you turn your water graphics to flat like I recommended, you should be able to spot it easily. When you found it, equip your rebreather and then swim to it. Make sure your rebreather has a high tank. If your rebreather is about to run out, refill it instantly. You have a long swim ahead of you, and you can't go any inventory while swimming. Continue swimming down until you can swim straight. When swimming straight, pop out of the water. Relax, you can make a fire if your character's cold, but it won't do any good because you have to go back in the water again. Go in the other pool and swim down until you can go straight. Swim through that, go up, and you'll find two things. One of them would be the blueprint to make the roller coaster. I highly recommend you take this if you haven't, as I doubt you want to go back here again. You will also find the old suit. Smash open the brown case with the yellow pattern on it. Once again, will you be prompt to equip the outfit? Hold E. And then now you have the old suit outfit. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial, I really hope this helped you. If you wish to support me, all you have to do is subscribe. Like always, the music in this video would be linked in the description.